Now, the NASCAR Street Race Weekend is one of the most anticipated events of the year. NASCAR schedule on July 6th and 7th, our downtown Chicago is going to turn into a 12-turn, 2.2-mile street course. And joining us with much more on this big event is Karim Bachman, the executive director of the Chicago Sports Commission, and Julie G.C., the president of the NASCAR Chicago Street Race. Thank you both for being here. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. It was such a hit last year. Everybody's been talking about this. I wasn't back in Chicago just yet, so I missed it. What's going to be different about this year's race? A couple different things. One, the course itself stays the same. So what you saw last year, you'll see again this year. This year, though, we have youth pricing. So kids 12 and under are free on Saturday. So bring family out, enjoy the weekend with the kiddos. Um, and then we have this great experience in Butler Field. It's a free experience, and it's an opportunity to learn about NASCAR. But then we've got over three dozen vendors from food and beverage to vendors, retailers, really leaning into that street festival experience you see around Chicago every weekend. Now, most people probably wouldn't think of Chicago is, I guess, a big NASCAR place. Why do you think this race has become such a big hit? Yeah, it has um, just really hit the city strong um, in year one, and people have gotten um, introduced to the sport who weren't previously introduced to the sport. And, um, you know, NASCAR has a huge fan base that has traveled to Chicago and has brought massive energy. The drivers, the fans, they love their sport, they love their cars, and it's just palpable. It's amazing. And what do you think this does to showcase the city of Chicago and maybe a different light as well or in introduce Chicago to new fans? I think one of the things, uh, just when you look at the visuals for the race, I mean, the location <laughs> in which we're racing is absolutely iconic. I mean, we all live here. We know right. that. It's with the skyline and the lake and the fountain. I mean, it is just a perfect opportunity to tell the story of how amazing this city is, and you get to see that, whether it's, again, through the broadcast or through all the visuals that you're seeing on social media. It's just a, a great way to tell the, a positive story. Yeah, it's funny. I was driving on Lakeshore Drive <laughs> yesterday <laughs> and just imagine people are going to literally be driving race cars through Grand Park. What would you say are some of your favorite events maybe outside of the race that are also taking place this weekend? Um, okay, well, I have to say my favorite event is the race, so <laughs> everyone should be there and check it out. Um, but outside of the race, I guess it's really the fact that um, everybody gets to see our city. Um, to me, that's the most amazing part. But also, NASCAR's drivers, they're accessible, and they get out and into the community. So you can check out NASCAR um, website and their social media links because there are a lot of activities that have been going on. We've got things going on at Navy Pier. The Family Fest was Tuesday night, which was amazing. There's merch. We know everybody in uh -huh. Chicago likes some good swag. Absolutely. And NASCAR has come out with some amazing bits. We've got collaborations with people like Dilla, Sherman Thomas, our Chicago urban historian. Uh -huh. So really cool things that have integrated our city into their brand. It's been a great collaboration and showcase both of NASCAR and Chicago and what we both have to offer. And Bubba Wallace will be over at uh, Douglas Park on Friday uh -huh. night, 5 to 9 p.m. for Bubba's block party. So this is something that we did last year uh, at DuSable Black History Museum and Education Center this year, taking it over to Douglas Park and just going to have a great time. Love that there's also events for people who may not be able to get a ticket to see the actual race. Thank you so much for, for being here. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us.